At Intel, we definitely have witnessed dramatic changes in education around the globe, and the pace of change seems to be accelerating. It's so important that governments and the private sector and the funding community collaborate to truly think about what does innovation mean in education for the next decade and the next decade after that. I think innovation is all about risk-taking and creativity, but when we're talking about education, we have to really think about the impact on the student and eventually the impact on the social and economic development of the country. So it's an exciting time of change, and we are proud to be a part of the discussion going on today. We are very concerned with teacher quality, and that's been a huge focus of our programs. We've trained more than 8 million teachers on the effective use of technology. We also feel that it's important for Intel to shine a light on science and math and engineering excellence to really raise the bar and show systems what excellence looks like. And that's why we sponsor the global competitions like the Intel Science and Engineering Fair. It's also important for us that children have access to the latest technology through programs like the Intel Computer Clubhouse with more than 100 clubs across the globe, to the Intel Learn program where we give young people skills for life, skills like researching, collaboration, working in teams, solving local problems, making presentations to their community. All these types of skills, no matter what problem they're addressing, are lifelong skills that will serve them today and in the workplace tomorrow. We're very concerned with the assessment um, that is going on in education systems around the globe. There's great room for improvement. As the education systems change, as technology is introduced, we need new assessment tools to find out what the impacts truly are. One thing we do know is that technology impact is as variable as the impact of a teacher. So technology that is deployed with a systems approach, with strong policies, strong leadership, and a good base of resources can have a dramatically positive impact. But then there's everything from soup to nuts when you're deploying technology. Sometimes technology is thrown at a problem instead of being used as one of the solutions to a problem. We are sure and confident that education today will be quite different than what it looks like in the next 10 or 20 years. What form that might take and how it will evolve, I think, depends a lot on the leaders that are here today at WISE. As WISE works to bring collaborators together to talk about innovation in education, we think that only through public-private cooperation and dialogue such as happening this week are we truly going to find those breakthroughs that will ensure access for all children, quality teaching, systems that rely on data and continuous improvement, and the ability to scale and replicate what works.